Let's try chapter one again. Maybe defeat the lich one more time. I don't think, well, the, the ghosts are quite interesting. Do we go with the same setup again? Maybe we want spider cocoons as a rogue. Instead of the battlefield perhaps? Or maybe, like I think we want to fight more and weaker enemies, which spider cocoon provides. Village and wheat field does make sense. I am gonna keep the battlefield around. I wanna try uh, this combination for once. Let's see how this goes. Place a spider cocoon here. Maybe we can immediately fight a spider. That would be nice. Uh, maybe I should have put it a bit farther ahead. spider cocoon. I want the spiders in places where they can spread out to a different to multiple different fields so we don't have all of them on the same field. Here we have two spider cocoons overlapping which is probably even worse. Don't want all the spiders in the same sp space here. Let's equip some boots, evasion bonus. Let's definitely use that axe. Upgrading armor as well. That seems good enough for now. Still not quite sure how these trophies work exactly, if each trophy is exchanged for just a single item or if you can exchange multiple trophies for one item or whatever. They're not sure how they work. Does the kind of trophy we get matter? I don't know, I, I don't know that either, so. Lantern seems nice. We can limit the amount of spiders. I do want to keep fighting spiders, but not too many at the same time. That can be a bit dangerous. This seems like it would be a decent place for a village. Try to fight some ghost spiders. 
Damage to all defense. Definitely want this weapon. Magic damage and damage to all. And that's probably better than a little bit of defense. I don't think we want to affect any spiders with the chrono crystals. Spider cocoons, at least. This might become a meadow. I really wish we had uh, a treasury. I might have to build some meadows without having access to a treasury. Gonna make sure we don't have too many spiders on the fields where the battlefield is active. We have a fair few meadows now, so let's build some of them so we can actually get increased regen. Quest to defeat the spider. That's our first goblin village. I think we can let one goblin spawn there before we... Oblivion them. We got our first skill po point. Fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. Hmm, we will pretty often have three or more enemies with these spiders. Sure, I think I'll take that over the pickpocket and the other one. Um, good weapon, attack speed and evasion is on there, nice, nice. Armor upgrade as well, any good boots? These have more evasion and critical damage instead of attack speed. I think that's fine. Do we want another village? I think so. Right, that gave us a bandy camp. Do I care about that? Not too much, to be honest. But we do want to oblivion the goblin camp now, because these can become quite scary otherwise. The quest spider went down pretty quickly. One trophy, two trophies, and one more. There is our first treasury finally. Now we can get some of these meadows out. Doesn't have to be meadows, of course. Maybe for like the corner pieces where the meadows don't bloom, we could use something like chrono crystals instead. Because we don't want to use that many chrono crystals. No, chrono crystals can only be built adjacent to the road anyway, so it's not gonna work. I mean, if we could build chrono crest crystals there, it would be an easy choice. Just to get that extra 
healing from the meadows as well. I think having some amount of magic damage does help with some enemies that have high defense like the ghosts. I think the ghosts seem to have high defense. I was hitting them for pretty low damage after all. Now this is a good placement for a Chrono Crystal. can still make the world a bit more threatening put down another village this is a very nice weapon now we have 25% evasion on our weapons. I'm also gonna upgrade the boots. Magic damage stays the same but we gain attack speed and counter and some more health. That's very nice. Oh this is even more evasion. Damage down though pretty significantly. Uh, I'm not gonna use it. 46% evasion now. But it is pretty much our only real defensive stat, so that might be important after all. Do we need more spiders? I can put some here. Maybe this place needs a road lantern. Because of the bandits as well. The final weep field. Quest reward. Not really worth it. We have some metal already. Uh, decent amount. Have some more meadows to build up there. That gave us a new treasury. gonna be hard to find a place for all these wheat fields. That's a lot of spiders there. I'm a bit scared to add ghosts to that. Maybe we can add some ghosts here. Although we are finishing these spiders very swiftly, so... Might not be the biggest deal.
there's another goblin camp. Again, I'm okay with spawning one or two goblins. I just don't want them to take over. Hi, Skiff, welcome. Uh, it just seems like uh, blue items have one stats, yellow items have two stats, and orange items have, have th three stats, but it also seems like the blue items often have more of the one stat than the yellow, but that's not the case here, so yeah, it's a bit mysterious. Maybe it's just that the, the roll variance is pretty high. Maybe that's all it is. Fourteen percent evasion. That's not quite as much as my current boots. That's slightly lower evasion, but a lot of damage to all. But crit damage chance and critical damage. Well, crit chance and crit damage is a nice combination. I wonder if the four hundred health here. Might be worth losing the random stats on my current armor. That could very well be the case. Could be that the game rolls a yellow item, two stats, with the same stat twice, stealth by making it blue. That could be possible, yes. That will kind of make sense. I am okay with losing 4% evasion here for some crit especially the crit chance is quite nice yeah now for example this dog could very well be an orange orange dog that rolled evasion twice 6 plus 7 percent and that's why the evasion bonus is quite high it's only possible One more Chrono Crystal, we're getting this mirror though to count double as well. The Chrono Crystals don't stack though, so not much point to spamming them around there. Seems like you thought a lot about that, uh, Skeef. Definitely have a very clear idea how it could work. Or the village wheat field chain, yeah. I think it's pretty useful. The evasion bonus, I think I I, I just want that. Evasion becomes more valuable the more the more we have, and now we have a third item with evasion bonus, a fourth even. So that's gonna be very nice. Max HP is increased by one for each received trof trophy. Ten percent chance to simultaneously attack two targets. As that's also picky. These all seem pretty decent. How many trophies did we receive so far? 
We get about 20 a loop. I've done six loops, so that's gonna be about a hundred maybe HP. That's not bad. We often fight multiple enemies. But it's gonna be pretty useless against the boss. I'm gonna go for old scars. I didn't pay attention to how much HP gave us. Whoops. Just make that meadow bloom. Do we want more battlefields? We definitely don't want block clots, I think. These are a bit nasty. The ghosts haven't been a big problem for us so far. exciting we got there as a quest reward ah. yeah I also didn't have too much time to play yet this is only my second session or second stream of playing the game I don't think we can afford to lose the evasion here. Damage to all is not something we really care about. Uh, that's a lot of goblins we just got there. Uh, I think we're pretty healthy and thus will be fine, so... Not a great problem at the moment. Maybe I should have left that space for a mountain so we could, could continue our mount mountain chain. I guess I will leave this one for a rock or something. For that very same reason. I'm really glad we have these road lanterns up so we don't have to fight... Uh, fight packs of four spiders there. Oh, spiders don't have a soul. We won't even... I only noticed that now, that we're not even getting a uh, ghost from these spiders. Nice, get some of these weep fields out of here. Get useful stuff instead. Spiders don't have souls, no. They are living, but they don't have souls. I only just noticed that now. We're very close to spawning the boss. At least... No, they do not seem to have souls. Just living. That also explains why we never got a ghost from them. All right, we haven't removed any. Oops, we haven't built anything around our camp, so this boss is gonna suck. Uh, eighteen percent evasion, five damage to all, but we lose our crit bonus. Just let's see. 
7% chance for an additional 57% damage. If we could build up a bit more cr more crit, that would be worth keeping. But I think as it is right now, evasion is more important. We have 63% evasion. That's gonna be how we win this fight. We just dodge everything. How is it possible? That's right. You hadn't... Uh, wait. This conversation. I remember it. I've already killed you. What the hell is happening here? Killed me? It's... I see. So that's how it is. I'm just his afterimage. Not the original. You have no idea what you've done. And how many times will I have to do this world of favor by slicing you in half? I don't think that you are able to comprehend this. I am part of a self-defense mechanism. A multitude of copies sent to different realities at the moment of death. My destruction cannot be fixed. But in an endless series of attempts, different outcomes are possible. I've defeated you once and I can do it again. Yeah, 35% enhancement by palaces, so that's actually quite scary. We need quite a few evades to take the lich down, but we do have two potions as well, so we have some healing. Not a lot though. As long as we're getting these dodgers, we're getting pretty close to a kill here. Uh-oh. One more hit and we're done for. Ah, the healing from the new day gave us another hit we could take. And that was necessary. Nice. I couldn't change anything. But your victory won't change anything either. Eternity will grind you to dust, and I'm just a small gear in the process now. If killing you makes me stronger, I won't need an eternity. Now be gone. Hey Alex, welcome! Do we unlock another skill to learn? Deep pockets. Resource cap in this expedition is increased by 50%. I don't quite know what the ex resource cap is, but assume you can only get uh, a certain amount of full orbs to get back. Time flies 15% faster. Doesn't seem that great. 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. That's neat. I think I'm gonna go for the treasure hunter here. Oh, you're grinding your last trophy. You've played quite a bit then already, huh? I think we're fine to do another loop. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a decent armor. Could use the HP right now. That's a lot of evasion on this armor though, and it's also quite a bit of HP up. Evasion, crit damage, counter, and just very generally high damage. That seems good enough. 20% attack speed on these boots. Is there a cap for evasion? Because if not... <laughs> I could potentially just evade everything. Let's get the upgrade here. That's just a lot of extra damage. 75%, okay. That makes sense. That's a reasonable amount. We got another goblin camp.
That is a little spooky. That limits the bandit count to two. Another village. This is a very good meadow. Um, sure. Oh, right, that's for the bandit camp. Remove the gargoyle there. Nice. I think this is gonna be the final loop for this run. And I technically didn't need to obliterate. No, oblivion. These goblins. Just now, but. Hey, Forge of Days! Welcome! Stuck on Act 4 and beating earlier acts with classes other than Necro. Haven't unlocked the Necromancer yet, but I have seen that it exists. It's time to get some change. Bye, Skiff. Thanks for dropping by. Trying to get your rogue killed, but he heals too much and has 17k HP. Wow. Yeah, rogues don't get free items from battlefields. I just wanted to bring them to make some uh, ghosts. But turns out many of the creatures don't have souls. may come to your aid during battle. 75% chance. That's pretty awesome. But here I think we want the Awakened Fragment to get a little bit more resources out of this final loop. I'm also just gonna spam everything with spider cocoons. Rogues get better items from trophies if you manage to get a good kill loop. So, the more trophy trophies you have, the better items you get, I assume. That's at least been my current idea. That's also why I brought the spiders. So, we could generate a lot of trophies. Because the spiders are... Relatively easy to deal with.
And they spawn very fast. Some champs are... Some champs are better off with blue items, I'll let you find out why. Huh. I think Spider Cocoon is the best card in the game. Really? I'm a bit surprised. It seems at least very good for the rogue. It doesn't seem to provide very valuable loot, like every day draw a card. Do we just return now? I think we just return now. We have what we wanted. We have a lot of metal. Enough to uh, build the supply depot finally. The appraiser will be happy to identify all the strange things you find on the road and pass them on to the people who need them the most. Unlocks the supply feature. From now on you will begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlocks the ability to craft items if you have the necessary buildings and unlocks the ruins card. Good news! We've come up with a list of some things we need. I won't say they're all absolutely necessary, but they will make our lives a bit better. We can keep eating from the ground, while the food is also the ground. And then we go to sleep on the same, you know, ground. I'm exaggerating, of course. Just want you to get the idea. If you stumble upon a good piece of furniture or an instrument or anything else of use, remember the place and take a wagon there, and we'll see that your findings go to the right person. Okay. Supply. Well, I don't have anything yet. Craft, item crafting menu. Mm, not yet sure what to do, but I don't I think I want to spend my resources for that just yet. We can't upgrade the supply depot either. I would like to upgrade the forge, the smithy, but a smith's forge card. We have seen that one from the cosmic matter before. That seems quite good, but the metal requirement is deep and we haven't even seen these orbs yet. Maybe these are living fragment or craft fragment upgrades. Something like that. Uh, gymnasium unlocks the town car that's also quite expensive. The field kitchen upgrade is quite affordable. We would need just a little bit more wood and that would increase our healing power that would certainly be nice we could upgrade the herbalist right now two percent uh potion heal effect and plus two potions to carry around that would be nice what else the cemetery seems like a decent build passing through a cemetery on expedition grants you a memory fragment so that will be another source of memory fragments. We have the mud hut. A hovel made of sticks and mud houses only one person. Every resident brings you closer to victory. Build more houses. Huh. You can give residents furniture or food to store. Interesting. Intel center. All the information you find about the world, resources or monsters is locked and stored here. Unlocks the encyclopedia, unlocks the desert and sand dunes card, unlocks the ability to add gold cards to the deck. Interesting. Warehouse. 
A spacious addition to the supply depot, here people can store the wares that have no place in their house. Plus 10 to the camp's item limit. Let's get the cemetery. Thank you. It's a nice place. Calm. There are some people. But quiet ones. They look a bit grim. But they can, you me te can tell you many things. If you can listen. Spooky. The upgrade is. We'll revive the hero with 15% HP once. During an expedition. Again, we need a lot of resources for that. Maybe these orbs of afterlife? That would be kind of fitting. 